I'm sure they're out there, but I have yet to meet a person who doesn't enjoy one of these. Snickers, caramel, milk chocolate, nuts. Okay, maybe if you have a nut or a cocoa allergy, then this is just off the table for you. Or maybe if you're very careful about what you eat and you know that there's more to a Snickers than just chocolate, caramel, and the nuts. But listen, what if I could promise you a low calorie option, completely organic Snickers bar that I've even made personally with the very best ingredients. I've made it from scratch with the best organic flour, the best free range eggs, the best organic sugar, and even premium chocolates. But I wanna be perfectly honest. There's one ingredient I added that isn't usually found in a traditional Snickers. It's an ingredient from my neighbor's backyard, but not to worry, because I only added the tiniest bit of that ingredient to this bar. The portion I added was so small, it's just a, a pinch. You won't even taste it. In fact, it's organic, just like all the other ingredients, but that secret organic ingredient, well, it's dog doo-doo. Is that okay? No, I'm sure most of you would say no way, but what if I said the amount, it's just very small compared to the rest of the ingredients. It won't hurt you. In fact, it's been cooked right along with the other ingredients. You won't even taste it. In fact, it has the same consistency as the rest of the ingredients. So go ahead and enjoy. Well, most of you, if you're still even watching this with me, you would say no way. Even though it might just be a bit of doo-doo, it ruins the entire bar. Well, this is the same reason we wanna stay away from even the smallest amount of sin in our lives. Listen, you wouldn't tolerate a little doo-doo in your Snickers bar, so why should you tolerate even a little bit of sin in your life? Listen, don't tolerate sin. In the Word of God, we're shown what just a little bit of sin can do. 1 Corinthians 5 says, sin is like a little yeast that spreads through the whole batch of dough. In Ecclesiastes 10, Solomon writes, just as dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to stink, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. Listen, sin stinks, sin destroys, sin causes ruin, even just a little bit. So this morning, here's my encouragement. Realize that Jesus died to set you free from sin and to give you the ability to do away with the doo-doo of life. Live free in Jesus and walk purely with the Lord.